It's not about work or you or Joe. It's about me. I left. And I'm with Izzy. I deserve the guilt and to be called an ass. But I don't want to be set straight. I don't want you to say the right thing. Because the one perfect thing isn't in Seattle. Not anymore. Wow. 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 Well, Grey's Anatomy finally revealed where Alex Karev is, and safe to say, literally no one saw this coming. Yeah, it turns out he's back with Izzy Stevens, a.k.a. Katherine Heigl, a.k.a. again, just wow. Oh, and they have kids now from that embryo storyline way back. And finally she said, yeah, I have kids. <laughs> Twins. And it turns out they're my kids, man. This, this isn't how Izzy and I were supposed to make a baby. So I signed papers saying she could do whatever she wanted with them. And so she used them. And she had twins. Eli and Alexis. Wild. I know. I haven't in years. This was all revealed through letters that Karev wrote to Meredith, Bailey, Richard, and of course, Joe. You know, his current wife. And this right here, this cowardice, this letter, it's officially the worst thing I've ever done. But it's about me, Joe. It's not about you. I don't live in my car anymore, Jerry. It's not what you deserve. You deserve and I have earned so much better than this. I promise you it's your favorite. Yeah, no, this is great. You wanted to hear me say the words, so I'm saying them right now. I love you, Joe. A lot to unpack. I feel like I need to take a seat. Moment of silence. What's also true is I'm in love with Izzy. Okay, so while I kind of like that Karev and Izzy got back together, a lot of people did not, and they were very vocal on Twitter about it. In fact, these are some of the tweets. Quote, I thought Owen Hunt was the worst thing that happened to Grey's Anatomy, but this is so much worse. I will need at least seven to 10 business days to recover from this episode. Don't text. All I'm saying is, if they could get Justin Chambers to come back and do an Alex Karev voiceover for this, they sure as hell could have convinced him to film one more episode with a better ending than this absurdity. So when Joe left that heartbreaking, beautiful voicemail about how she would jump in front of a bear for him, he was playing house with Izzy? And I accepted when Shonda killed off Lexi, Mark, and Derek, but this is unacceptable. So yeah, a lot of strong feelings. The beauty of this though is that Joe is strong AF, and we know this, we've known this. I am working. You're my hero. Mine too. Following the episode, showrunner Krista Vernoff gave this statement about Justin's exit to E.T. Quote, It is nearly impossible to say goodbye to Alex Karev. For 16 seasons, 16 years, we have grown up alongside Alex Karev. We have been frustrated by his limitations and we have been inspired by his growth and we have come to love him deeply and to think of him as one of our very best friends. We will miss him terribly and we will always be grateful for his impact on our show, on our hearts, and on our fans, on the world. One thing I have hope on is that maybe they're setting things up in order to bring back OG characters in the final season, which could be coming sooner than we think. Yes, we're starting to think about how you would end a show this iconically, um, this iconic. Um, how do you end it? All right, guys, that's it for today. Let me know what you thought of Karev's exit. And for all the latest on Grey's, stick with all things E.T. Until next time, I'm Katie Krause, and bye for now.